Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing super great. I'm doing fine down here in Texas and um, I'm playing around in Luminar Neo today. I'm going to like Neo. I'm going to like it a lot. In fact, I do like it a lot. I would go so far as to say I love it already, but it doesn't have everything in it. This is still a pre-release version that I have. Um, many of you that did the pre-order got some version of it. I'm not really sure if it's the same as the version I have. But anyway, this version that I have is the same one I had in my last Neo video. You can see all my Neo videos in that playlist right there if you'd like to. And if you don't want to, that's cool too. But I appreciate you stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to walk through a full edit using Luminar Neo simply because I haven't really done that. And I thought, you know what? I just got back from a trip. I, I got a lot of photos I took in uh, Colorado. And the photo I got today is actually from New Mexico. We, it basically took us a day and a half to get home. Uh, it was 18 hours up there. If you saw that vlog video, you know that. Um, but coming home, we did it in a day and a half. So we had an early, early start, zipping across northern New Mexico one morning. I put that on Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, I stuck an iPhone photo up there that morning. This is a, a, a real photo that I took with my Sony. Here's the photo, but we were crossing northern New Mexico. It's It was glorious, to be honest. The skies in New Mexico, if you live in New Mexico, bless you. Every time I go to New Mexico, I swear, I'm just like, what are they doing out here with these skies? Because I get more beautiful sunsets in New Mexico than really anywhere else. It's There's something going on. I don't know what you're doing out there, but keep it up because it's fantastic. Anyway, I thought I would walk through a full kind of workflow demo of how I would edit a photo using Luminar Neo, start to finish. Here's the photo. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the develop and I'm going to start in light. And I just kind of work, I find myself working my way down this list of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in develop. I talked about that in that video, but I'm actually going to go here because I just realized I need to fix some distortion. I had my Sony 24 to 105 on the camera. That helped a lot. And manual corrections, if you need to do any of that, you can. But I think I've got rid of the vignetting um, that was happening there. If I turn this on and off, you can kind of see that. So, you know, I'm feeling good about that. I'm going to just say that we're good. And I'm going to go ahead and do some edits. So I actually want to brighten the photo a little bit. If you've been here before, you know I tend to shoot a little bit uh, exposed to the left, which means my photos tend to be a little bit darker. And... I want to brighten it a little bit, and of course, I want to bring that color to life without overdoing it. I want to be kind of careful. So I just find myself kind of working through the various components of develop and just moving sliders to my taste. And, you know, honestly, that's how I edit. I season to taste. I do something until I like it. And sometimes I might change my mind and go back and fix that. Well, fix, adjust whatever I did previously. So sometimes if you're, if you're new here and watching the Neo videos, Thank you. Um, and if you're old here, you already know that, not old, but if you've been here before and seen a lot of my videos, you know that I kind of bounce around a little bit. But uh, anyway, in this video, I am kind of walking through a full workflow and I'm trying to, you know, I've had some people say, hey, just share your thought process when you're doing stuff. And so um, I don't really think you want to get in my head because I'm, I'm a bit like a ferret on a double espresso, if you know what I mean. I'm in lots of places at, um, at the same time, which is a bit confusing. Um, but I'm going to try to do a little bit more of that this year and share a little bit more of what I'm thinking. So here again, just basically adjusting the light curves is fantastic. If you don't use curves, highly recommend you check it out. This is not a tutorial on curves, but in the green, you can get green or magenta. Nobody wants green like that, but the magenta looks pretty good. So I'm going to do just a little bit and maybe a little bit here. Um, I could maybe pull the shadows and go, uh, nah, I don't think I want to do that. So it's basically, it's green or magenta. And you, anyway, I'll come back. If you want a, a video about the curves tool, let me know. I'll be happy to do it. I've done it in, uh, you know, previous versions of Luminar, um, and, uh, it's useful. It's a very powerful tool. I'm going to move on to color. I might go a little bit warmer. I mean, it was sunrise. It was glorious, as you can tell. I just, I want to not overdo it, but I want to make sure that it's really popping because it really popped that morning. I mean, it was like 6.30 in the morning and I was like, stop the car, you know, kind of thing. If you're a photographer like I am, which I'm sure you are, that's why you're here. Um, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, hey, we're in a hurry to get home. Oh, there's a gorgeous sunrise. 
I don't care when I get home. I want to pull over and I'm going to do a few things and we're going to get there when we get there. So that's kind of what happened. Um, anyway, tiny bit of sharpening, you know, um, noise reduction. I'm going to go with a little bit of luminosity noise reduction, you know, so maybe like a 30. There's not really a lot of noise, but when I zoomed in prior to starting this video, I saw a little bit. Anyway, that should take care of it. I think I'm fine with develop. I'm going to go ahead and close that. So far, I mean, you know, we've made a lot of progress. There's the before and there's the current state. So honestly, that's what it looked like. I mean, it was this gorgeous and glorious and beautiful, but I want to do a few enhancements, you know, enhancements. Um, we edit uh, the bit, the way that we want to edit, right? So uh, we make it look as pretty as we want it to look. Um, I'm going to go with 20, but I'm only going to put that into the uh, foreground. Now, one thing that's missing in Neo is the multiple masking. So all I have right now is a paint mask or a brush mask. So all I'm going to do is paint golden hour into the foreground. I would normally use a gradient mask, slap it on there, and I would already be on to the next filter. But hey, you know, when you got a pre-release version and it doesn't have all the tools, you got to be careful uh, and you can only do what you can only do. So that is that. Let me close the masking window. Let me show you the before and after. There it is before. And there it is now. I basically just put a little bit of warmth into the foreground simply because I kind of like that look. Now I'm going to use one of the new, fun, exciting tools, which is Relight AI. And I just want to brighten that foreground a little bit. One of the things I find myself doing is trying to figure out where is the line that defines uh, near and far. And so I'm often taking this brightness near and kind of jacking it up like that. Now that doesn't look right, but that allows me to figure out what is uh, where is the depth, if you will. And then I take the depth slider and then I can just move it up the photo and I can see it much better. And now it looks something like that. And now I'm gonna pull the brightness near back a little bit. I didn't want it that high, you know, but if you brighten it up a lot, that gives you that visibility. And then you move the depth, adjust it to taste, and then you can pull back on the brightness level. So I'm gonna do something, I think something about like that. I think that looks good, the before and after, before and after. I think that looks good. I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, next is mystical. And honestly, I just like mystical. Uh, so I'm just putting a little mystical on there because it's, it's just a great, great tool. I'm going to go kind of low, like a 20. It does add some contrast. It's darkening some of that foreground as well. So you just want to be careful when you're using it, but there it is before and after just a slight softness to the image in doing that. Now I'm going to go down to one of my favorite tools, super contrast. Um, it is super and it does add contrast. It's well named. It's super at what it does, which is adding contrast. Take those two together, squish it together. You have super contrast. I'm going to get into highlights. And if you look at the sky um, on that left side over here, is that, it may not look the same to you. Anyway, the left side of the photo, as I drag the contrast there, it's darkening that. So you just want to be careful. One of the things I like about this photo is that it's darker on the right and of course brighter on the left. So I don't want to completely lose that. And if I crank up that contrast, it throws off the pinks in the clouds, which is not good, but it also takes away some of that brightness. And I like a little bit of that kind of airy brightness. So I'm going to do a little bit and then usually, whoa, I don't want to go that way. I'm going to go a tiny bit with the balance. Midtones contrast, that's really impacting that right-hand side, as you can see. I think I'm gonna just totally leave that out. Let me check shadows. That's actually gonna help me brighten that foreground if I want to, but I think, I don't know. You know, I didn't take notes um, on, I just wrote down what tools I use, but I kind of wanted this to be a little free-flowing because again, I wanna kind of share. Um, I just don't like midtones contrast here. Well, I do like a little bit of it. See what I mean? I'm a bit like a ferret on a double espresso. Um, I just want to share what I'm doing and why and doing it live. So while I will definitely do videos where I have specific measurement measurements, slider adjustments, and I want to be um, certain that I do those exactly the same way. Sometimes I want to do it a little bit more free flowing. So this is a bit free. Um, I hope it I hope it helps. But look at the sky, still bright. Or, or excuse me, there it is before, brighter over there, and now a little bit less so. In fact, I think I'm gonna pull that back. It's another thing I like to do. I make my adjustments and then I'm doing the eyeball check to see how it impacts the photo. I really like, like right up in here, how it's impacting the, the pink in the sky. There it is before. See, it's a little bit brighter. And now, 
a little bit more contrast. I like that. I think that looks good. I'm going to leave it. And one other thing I want to do, I'm going to go into color and I'm going to go into the saturation of the magenta. I'm going to take that down just a little bit. Um, that's going to impact those pinks in the sky, right? So if you go really hard left or right, you can see where it's impacting your photo. And so um, that's something I'll often do. I'll often just come drag a color to the right to see what it does. And I know that that's really hitting the pinks hard, which is what I want to do. And I want to take that down just a little bit. I want it to be subtly beautiful and not over the top in your face color. I think that did uh, fine for me right there. And then structure AI, I'm just going to go negative. And again, this is where I would normally come in with a gradient mask. But in this case, I'm going to just take an eraser because I don't have a gradient mask yet in this demo version. And I'm just going to erase that negative structure, which is basically softening the photo. I'm going to erase that softening from the ground because ground to me isn't normally soft unless it's covered in snow or something. It's kind of crunchy. And so softening the sky, removing uh, or excuse me, yeah, removing the softness from the ground. In other words, leaving that kind of crunchy. And that's it, my friends. That's the full edit. So before and after, there it is before, quite a bit darker, not quite enough pop, a little too dark in the foreground, obviously some optical corrections that need to occur. And afterwards, I think I have a subtly beautiful, nice and colorful, but I don't, I don't think that you would look at that and say, oh, Jim, calm down on the sliders, you know, the clown vomit thing. I don't think you're gonna look at that and say that. It's a lot of color. And it's vibrant, but I think it's uh, I think it's realistic. That's the word. Um, and I like the way it looks. And so one more time, there it is before and after. I don't have this sliding window thing in uh, this version of Luminar Neo. I'm assuming it will be in the final version, but that's an edit, my friends, one more time. Boom, there it is before and after. I obviously like my after quite a bit. Um, I like this photo. I, I was uh, very happy to be pulled over on the side of some random road in northern New Mexico and shooting this. We stopped for about 15 or 20 minutes. I got my shots. We carried on. Everything everything worked out great. So pull over. If you see sunlight like this, get a photo of it. Even if it's an iPhone or a GoPro, whatever it is you have with you, take a photo, my friends. Take the photo. Um, hope it helps. That's a full walkthrough demo of what I do in Luminar Neo. Hopefully a little bit of why and not just the how. I'm trying to do more whys because honestly, for photo editing, for me, it's often more about the why than it is the how, which is weird because this channel, I do a lot of tutorials, which is showing the how. I'm trying to spend more time on the why. So hope it helps. Please give me feedback, comments down below. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, will you do me a favor and do that because a lot of viewers watch my videos that are not subscribed. My little analytics on the back end of YouTube tells me that. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, come on, hang out with us. We're having a good time here. Hit subscribe. See you in the next video, my friends. Until then, take care of yourselves. I'll see you later and adios.